Hi everyone, I am so excited for today's video because I have with me some goodies from Chanel today. And I actually bought four of the Le Cat Ombre Tweed um, eyeshadow palette. Um, I am so happy that I was able to get this because when I have been seeing this being reviewed like on YouTube and on some like, you know, um, posts on Instagram, I was like, Oh, that looks very beautiful and truthfully um, I have a limited number of Chanel eyeshadow collection here in my like you know stash and I actually thought of adding more and I'm actually glad that these limited edition eyeshadow palettes came out because it just makes it more special and truthfully sometimes here in the merchandising um, some of the palettes that I want is not available because it's not the one that sells so uh, but I'm just so glad that I have all of these four with me today look at that look at that isn't this so pretty so I'm just gonna line up each of the palettes here one by one so i'm going to put this here and the other here and there so as you guys can see each of the eyeshadow palettes ha comes with their own um slip on tweed pouch and i don't know why it took chanel so long to do this because this tweed cloth is a very like you know very distinctive chanel brand and um as you also guys can see and you have noticed that each of the compact here has a different kind of um, color story for it, each tweed pouch. And that's actually the color story that you will see reflected inside the eyeshadow palette. And one other thing, if you just look inside the slip-on pouch of each of the eyeshadow palettes, there's actually a lining there with a double C logo printed on it. So that's kind of cool. It's very Chanel. Now each of the Le Cat Ombre Tweed palette comes in a very, they're very typical Chanel um, eyeshadow packaging and it has this very nice shimmery, um, like you know, lacquered kind of a packaging. And inside, each of the eyeshadow actually has a protective um, lining and of course you see these two like you know, um, sponge applicators which I do suggest that you don't throw out because they can come in handy. Now, what's so amazing with this Le Cat Om Tweed um, collection is that the um, design on the eyeshadows here on the pan is like that of a tweed. And um, if we just look closely into it, we can see the texture in it. And um, although I have to say that I'm actually inserting some B-rolls um, as I am talking about this, but um, it's... The, the formulas of these eyeshadows are not hard pressed, but they're very, very creamy and they're very, very soft. I was actually uh, thinking of saving this, like, you know, as a collection, but I said to myself, why would I do that? I'd rather use all of it so that I can get my money's worth because all of these eyeshadow palettes collectively costs um, quite a lot of money. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert B-rolls into this part of the vlog showing you guys how each of the Le Cat Ombre Tweed eyeshadow palettes look like under natural light and also how they look like swatched on my skin. And I was very lucky that the sun came out when I was shooting B-rolls because this is how each of the palettes and the colors look like under natural light. All right, so this is how 01 Tweed Covure or Tweed Copper looks like under natural light. So we have very nice warm golden tones here and very nice, like, you know, brown coppery tones. And this is how it looks like swatched on my arm. Look at that. So I swatch from top to bottom, left to right. And look how shimmery each of these palettes are. And I think this color here can be used like as a topper shade. So that's actually very, very pretty. Also the texture of these, um, they're very, very creamy. They're not very hard pressed, but um, I don't know how well they will register on the eyes as soon as we start using brushes because after all, fingers um, like, you know, pick up a different kind of intensity with eyeshadow palettes. Okay, next, this is 02 Tweed Purpre. So this is um, Tweed Purple. And it has very nice, like, you know, purpley tones on the eyeshadow palette, which I have to say was very attractive to me. Like, the first time that I saw this on the display um, at the Chanel Boutique here, um, it was the first color that I wanted to get instantly. And I love the color story that we see here. We have very nice cool tone pinks. We have a nice peachy color here. And I love these violet tones because I think this will work well with um, like, you know, eye color like mine, brown, or um, even if you have green eyes, oh my god, this eyeshadow color will work really well for you. And I also think this will work well with me because I have green undertones in my skin. So 
this color will just like you know really pop okay and this is how it looks like swatched on my arm as you guys can see there it's a very it's not super glittery but it has like a very nice satin finish here um there's one eyeshadow here the one that's at the very first swatch here that has more glitters on it than the others so um let's try to see if they will um, work well on my eyes later and this is 03 tweed full so this is the word for tawny and it has a very nice like you know sandy um, like you know it's like a color of the desert you have browns you have reds and then you have also a nice beige color it's a very interesting color story I have to say but um, looking at the color palette now I could say that this work will work with people who have a very nice blue eyes and this is how it looks like swatched on my arm the colors are quite intense, I have to say, and it it has like a hint of warmth in it. It's mostly warm, but there's one cool tone which I think you can use um, to add definition on the eyes. So it's a very, very interesting um, color story, I do have to say. It's not one of the color stories that um, I usually um, work with um, because, again, um, I don't work with a lot of people who have blue eyes here in the Philippines. Okay, and this is 04 Tweed Brunette Rose. So Brun is brown and rose is rose. So um, when I am looking at the palette, I am seeing that the browns here lean towards more towards the gray side. So it's a very cool tone palette. And um, I think this can be a very uh, useful palette if you want to create a smoky eye look, but not too intense of a smoky eye. And um, truthfully, the colors here on the palette reminds me of how um, roses look like after they have aged or they have wilted and they get, the, you know, they have this very nice brown hints on their petals. So um, that's the color that this palette actually reminds me of okay and this is how this looks like swatched on my arm so it's not as intense as I thought it was going to be except for one um, color here at the very end of the swatch here but we can see that again this has a very nice like you know shimmery um, glittery formula to it and um, I think this will work extremely well um, on a multiple number of skin tones. Although I do have to say yeah. that this tweed number four was, um, I almost didn't buy this because I just didn't like the color story of it, but um, I changed my mind after I swatched it because I think it can be a nice alternative for smoky eye look. So. Okay, so now I'm gonna try these eyeshadows one by one, but first what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna apply a thin layer of foundation and some concealer so that we have a nice blank canvas on the face. That's my foundation and concealer and some powder down. So let's start with Tweed 01. All right, so first I'm gonna be picking up this shade here and I'm gonna use it like as a sort of like an all over shade. Oh, look, it looks very nice and it has a very nice warm tone to it. And I'm just laying the pigment well into my mobile lid. And I'm just flipping the brush and then I'm going to get whatever is left on the brush well into my crease and I'm just going to blend it upward. It's a very nice golden tone to it although it looks quite like you know cool toned here a little bit like you know muddy but it actually looks very lively on the eye and this can be a nice one and done eyeshadow I do have to say it's a very nice like you know lay down of color fantastic Okay, so I'm going to gradually build the intensity now. So with a crease brush, let me get this shade here. And I'm just going to apply it here onto my socket line. I'm going to use this color as like some sort of like a transition shade. So I'm just building my shape here and lifting it. Okay, so it's a very warm kind of a color. If you have like, you know, blue eyes, this is going to be a nice palette to use for you as well. The red tones here is just going to bring out your eye color quite nicely okay 
because I have to say the formula is very nice. It's also very smooth. It's also very easy to blend out. And I was also initially worried that there's just way too much shimmer on the palette. But I do have to say though that there's also an, um, like, you know, an acceptable amount of pigment that it's actually able to help you create like you know some definition on your eye. But then again, um, I don't know if this will work well with people who have deeper skin tones than I do. But for sure, I think this can add a very nice like, you know, hint of color into the eyes. And with the same color, I'm just going to add a little bit of some um, definition here on my lower lash line. Um, bring that up and then I'm also trying to bring that into the crease. Oh, that's nice. Very wearable. Okay, so let me continue and then let me just give my opinion a little bit later. So I'm just getting a smudger brush and I'm going to be picking up this deeper shade now. And I do have to say though that it's very, very creamy um, when I press the brush into the formula. So I'm not really scared of fallout with this. And I'm just going to tap the deepest brown shade here along my upper lash line. I'm just adding more definition now here on the inner corner of my eye. And I'm just smoking it out. I'm actually quite impressed that if you actually press the brush with the pigment, it actually intensifies. So I wasn't really expecting that. And it's actually giving a very nice, like, you know, soft definition on your upper lash line. So if you're someone who doesn't like, like, you know, using very intense eyeliner looks, this is a nice um, color to use from the palette. Oh, wow. That's actually very pretty. I'm so surprised. So let's add a little bit of that here on the lower water line, just here in the outer portions, just so that it's going to help to further open up my eye. Okay, let me just add a little bit of some lift there. Mm. I do have to say though that this palette looks very nice. It's also very buildable. You can go from light to dark extremely fast. So let's Go a hint darker. Okay, with the same brush that I used up by the transition shade, I'm going to pick up some of the deep shade here and I'm just going to apply it into my socket line and let's see how intense it gets. Okay, that was very fast and very easy. And at least with this palette, we know that we can go from light to dark. So you can actually dress up your eyes with this in more ways than one. You can go like, you know, one and done eyeshadow. You can go a little bit more defined and then you can also go smoky. Mm, that's very interesting. I wasn't expecting this palette to become this intense quite fast. So let's just blend out the edges. Okay, and with the deepest shade here, with the smudger brush, I'm just going to add more definition here just so that we have a much more deeper area in the socket line sootier and smokier and let's just blend out the edges mm. i wasn't expecting this to get this sooty nice color though i have to say one of them it's a very nice um brownie shade and although it says copper i don't see any i don't it's not as red as i thought that it was going to be but it has a very nice, like, you know, bronzy tone to it. It leans more into the brown side of the color spectrum. Oh, wow, that's very pretty, very nice. Let's add some mascara while we're at it. All right, I love that. And as a final step, let's get this nice gold color here. I think this can be a very nice topper shade, just basing on the arm swatch that we did earlier. And I'm just going to lay it here on my crease. Wow, that did add some sparkle. I love that. So if you find that you know you've built too much sootiness on your eye with this palette, this gold topper will give life and reflectivity on your eyes. This is very pretty, I have to say. Okay, let's add a little bit of that here. Okay, I'm being lazy right now because um, this brush is just way too big to apply eyeshadow in your lower lash line. But this is actually very pretty, but I love the way that this brush actually just like, you know, lays very, I think a very nice equal amount of glitter and shimmer on the eyes. And also whatever is left here, let's add a little bit of that here.
So this is how 01 Tweed Couvre looks on my eyes. Okay, now let's try 02 Tweed Porpre, the purple palette. Okay, so I'm going to start by using this color here. It's a very nice, like, you know, cool tone pink color. And I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid in a smoky kind of a fashion. And also, I do have to say that these formulas so far are adhering well into my skin. And I'm not using an eye base for us today because um, I just want us to see how these eyeshadow pigments actually adhere onto the skin and how well they actually work by themselves without any other um, support from any other product. Okay, so now I'm just, I just shifted the way that I held the brush and I'm just applying the color now well into my socket line and into my crease area. Okay, I do like the shade. It's a very nice, like, you know, violety tone. Very gentle as well and doesn't have a lot of shimmer on it. And if you want a very delicate color on the eyes, this will also work well for you. And um, I'm still debating though if it's gonna make you look like you have like you look sick, but I think if you just build the intensity and mix in the other shades, um, you can actually avoid looking sick with this eyeshadow color. Okay, so the color is very gentle, but the pigmentation is actually quite even. So you just have to be very careful with that. So let me get a blending brush. Okay, and let me just blend out the edges. And with the Sonia G Pencil 1 brush, I'm just going to pick up more of that color. And I'm going to apply that here onto my lower waterline so that we can see how it looks like. If it's going to make me look um, sick because of its pinky tone to it. Okay, it's a very gentle wash of color. But then again, I use a soft shader for this. So let me try to see if we can intensify it a bit with a different kind of brush. So... Um, this is the Builder Pro brush from Sonia G. And let me just pick up this color again. And let me add a little bit of it here on the outer portions of the eye. Okay, it's intensifying a teeny tiny bit. But the pigmentation remains the same. It's a very delicate violet color. Then let me just add a little bit of that here in the inner corner. And with Sonia G's Builder brush, I'm going to pick up the lightest shade here. This color, this color actually looks, um, it reminds me of like the color of the NARS Orgasm wherein it's a nice peachy pink kind of a color with gold highlights. So I'm adding that here in the middle of my eyelid just to add some drama. Okay, so I love that using these two colors creates a very nice delicate wash of color on the eyelid. Then, you know, it's a very, it gives you a very nice spring vibe and a very relaxed eyeshadow story on your eyes. So let me just add a little bit of the lightest shade here on my brow bone just so that we have like, you know, some hint of color. Oh, I do love these two. I love it. Very nice, very delicate, very gentle eyeshadow color, very sweet. Ah, Fantastic. Okay, so let's intensify this a bit with the deeper shades here on the palette. Okay, so I am getting this color here. So this one is a little bit lighter than this. So um, I'm going to start building the intensity first. So I'm just going to apply this here onto my crease and use it like a, as a transition shade of sort. Nice color. This really also helps like, you know, to bring some dimension into the eye. And also just like minimizing the pinky eye look because sometimes that's a problem that we encounter when we use like you know violet eyeshadows because of course violet is a color of bruises and so it kind of like makes you look a little bit sick but having this like you know very nice deep purplish tone can just really help to add definition into the eye it's a very brightening kind of an eyeshadow palette i kind of like it i have to say Okay, so let's add more intensity. So I'm getting a smaller um, crease brush and I'm going to be picking up this deeper shade here on the palette and I'm going to apply this into the crease. 
Hmm, it's intensifying the color a bit, but not too much. Let me change brushes. Okay, so I have here the mini booster from Sonia Jean. And let's try to see if this will apply more color. Yeah, it's adding more pigment now into the crease. And I also do have to say though that this palette has a much more matter kind of a formula. It's not as shimmery as the Tweed 01 palette, um, the copper palette. So with this one, you don't get a lot of that sparkle and that shine, but you get a much more like, you know, um, a matter kind of a formula. And let's add more intensity. So I'm just going to pick up more of the deepest shade here with this smudger brush, which is picking up a ton of pigment. And I'm just going to add it on my upper lash line. And I'm also going to apply some of that here on my lower water line. And I'm going to bring that into my socket line. Ooh, and now that is pretty delicate color, but just enough pigment to actually give some pop of like, you know, life into your eye. I like this. Very gentle. It reminds me of like, you know, the color of spring. Okay, so let me just cover the one eye. Look at that. Very pretty color. Very spring-like. Very, like, you know, very gentle kind of a color. Very pastel-y. But um, I do have to say, though, that it's actually also elevating um, my skin because, of course, I have um, olive tones in my skin. So this eyeshadow is just, like, you know, really working and contrasting with my skin. So let me just add some mascara so we kind of, like, complete the look already. Hmm, very pretty color. I love it. And to finish this eye off with my finger, I'm just going to pick up this color here. And I'm going to gently tap it in the middle of my eye because I think we just need a nice pop of color there. There you go. Very pretty. Very nice. Very gentle. Doll-like. And um, if we so desire... We can also add this color here in the inner corner. I mean, it won't really pop. It's very gentle, but at least we can see a hint of like, you know, light in that part of the eye. Just add more brightness. Hmm, very pretty. I like this color. I love it. Look at that. So cute. So this is how 02 Tweed Purple, Tweed Purple looks on my eye. All right, so I've just quickly reset my makeup, and now what we're going to do is we're going to use um, 03 Tweed Fauve, the Tawny um, eyeshadow palette. Okay, so now. what I'm going to do, be doing is um, I'm going to be applying this reddish colored eyeshadow all over my eyelid. So I'm just building up the intensity here, and I'm applying the color well into my socket line so i'm just working the color now into my crease into my socket line and i'm just going to blend it outward and upward oh it's a very nice pop of color i'm very i'm so surprised with that it's a nice terracotta kind of a shade like you know and it's actually quite forgiving because there's a hint of shimmer on it but it leans more towards a much more matter shade oh nice color though Nice one and done eyeshadow. Also has a very nice brightening effect. I was very surprised with that. So let me just, like, you know, get more of this color. And I'm going to add it into my lower lash line now. Like, you know, just to smoke it out a bit. Nice color. I'm so surprised by this. Yeah, but um, I wasn't really thinking that it was going to work for me because it looks very orangey, but it has a much, it leans more towards the red side of the color spectrum, which actually works to my advantage because, again, I have olive undertones in my skin. So this will just really make it pop on my eyes. And it's also like emphasizing the color of my um, eyes as well. So that's also very, very nice. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up this pinky peachy shade. And I'm just going to use this, like, you know, as a transition shade of sorts. Just to brighten that part. Just to add more color there. Mmm, very pretty. I'm going to bring a little bit of that here into my 
lower lash line and I'm just gonna tie it up like that very nice pretty color I have to say mmm quite surprised by that okay good okay I'm gonna pick up this deep shade now so it's like a nice violety shade like you know like a with a hint of brown on it very nice color okay so i'm using this all over my upper lash line just to add some definition Ooh, very pretty very nice i wasn't expecting that at all this is um of all of the three colors so far this was the palette that I didn't um, like you know have much faith on because again as I've said um, it's a color story that I rarely work with most of the time but I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this very pretty color also very easy to build like you know not so bad and then um, I think the colors here are like you know well balanced that they're not overpowering each other because unlike so far so far unlike the zero one tweed because of the very sooty nature of the color story um, it can get overpowering extremely fast but with this one I think you can build the intensity that you want like you know and you can just like you know be very playful with your eyes but you you can also add some definition to it um, if you want to mm, nice color story so let's try to add some definition on the socket line so let me get the crease one brush from Sonia G and I'm just tapping it here and I'm just going to land the brush here onto my crease and add some definition it's actually a nice combination again you I was able to create a much more dramatic eye look quite fast okay so I'm just blending it into the outer portions of my eye so that we get that nice lift that I always go for okay and blending is always the key Ooh, very nice very easy to make your eyes dramatic with these palettes so far so i'm um, with the um, sponge tip applicator i'm gonna get this please don't throw this away because sometimes if like you know these sponge tip applicators these are the ones that you can actually use if you want to apply all of these like you know topper shades and they mimic your fingertips wherein they pick up a ton of color so if you want to add like you know a very nice you know pop of color into your eyelid use the sponge tip applicators that come with these eyeshadow palettes oh look at that very nice it's like a nice daytime kind of a smoky eye look if you're into that okay let's also add some of that here into the inner corner very pretty and let me get this other shade here and just add a little bit of it here on like you know the brow bone just for some drama very nice and very pretty i like this Okay, and let's finish it off with some mascara. Mmm, look at that. Very nice, very pretty. Very, very surprised by this palette. I really didn't think that it was going to work for me, but it did. So this is how 03 Tweed Fova Tweed Tawny looks on my eyes. Okay, and the last palette is the 04 Tweed Brunette Rose. Now, this color here is good as a topper shade. So, um, let's play around with this. And I think let's build from light to dark, okay? So, I'm going to be using this light shade here. And I'm just going to lightly press it here all over my eyelid. Because looking at the color story here right now, this is all very gray. So, it's going to be not as brightening as the rest of the other like you know palettes that we have from the tweed collection and the reason why i'm very um careful with this is because it's a gray palette and gray eyeshadows really do not work with me because it just like you know it doesn't have it doesn't add any brightness at all and it also doesn't add any form of like you know um beautiful definition on the eye because again it's gray so it's it's very neutral but one thing i have to say though that with this light shade here it's actually very nice and brightening very neutral 
not so much pop of color so if you are someone who has lighter skin tones maybe lighter than I without the green olive undertone I think this will work for you it will just add a nice hint of color without going like you know overboard okay and with a smudger one brush from Sonia G I'm getting the deeper color now and I'm just gonna apply that here into my lower lash line and let's see if this will do anything for me but I fear it will not okay let me just try to create a lift here okay very very important see um as you guys can see it's it's not working for me mm. anyway so um Let's just continue to play around with it okay okay what I'm going to do now is with the worker one brush so I'm gonna be picking up this like you know mid-tone gray from this palette and I'm just gonna work it here into the outer V portions of my eyelid and then I'm going to work that a little bit into my crease and socket line okay so it's very neutral doesn't do anything it just take you know it, it just looks like it cast a shadow on my eye and um, it doesn't really work for me because it kind of like it kind of like removed the life from my eyes so this is a no-no for me but again let's um, continue okay so let's add some soft definition I'm using the soft definer from the Lotus set of Sonia G and I'm picking up the darkest gray here and I'm gonna use this just here in the outer V portion and then I'm going to add some soft definition here onto my crease and socket line and let me just build my shape all right I'm with the Chicago F08 brush I'm gonna pick up the darkest gray here and I'm just gonna line my upper lash line with this and also my lower lash line Okay, so at least I was able to make it into a much more smoky eye kind of a look. And let's add some mascara to see if that will just like, you know, help create more depth on the eye. So if you have lighter skin tones, I think this will work for you, especially if you are someone who prefers, like, you know, who likes to do smoky eye looks, but you find that sometimes using like, you know, very like you know red chocolatey brown colors or like you know using blacks can be too intense for you the neutral shade of this eyeshadow palette will be will work for you but um for me as a personal preference this um, eyeshadow palette doesn't work for me but it did add a very nice like you know a very nice neutral um, smoky eye look on my eyes so um, let me just get this pinky shade here this topper shade and let's add this all over the eyelid because I think we just need to add a hint of color there and the shimmer from this will just like you know pick up from the light and just add life into the eye because that's a problem that we have that we get when we use gray toned eyeshadows it doesn't really give life into the eyes it just mimics how natural shadows apply on the skin and again that can be a positive or a negative because sometimes shadows um, add definition but sometimes shadows also add a dullness into the eye so maybe if there was just like a hint of color in this it would be fantastic or maybe a much more deeper hint of a pigment then maybe this tweed number four brunetrones might like you know might work for me but anywho this is how 04 tweed brunetrones looks on my eyes all right so we've come to the end of my vlog and this is how all of the four lecat um, tweed collection looks on me um there are a few surprises i was actually very surprised with the tweed the number three tweed palette the tawny palette this one and i didn't expect it to work very well with the undertones of my skin i was also liking how tweed 02 the purple um palette looked on me you know i love these kinds of like color stories and color palettes because you know it's very bridal it's very sweet it's also very springtime and i love that it has a much more matter 
kind of a formula instead of like super shimmery because if this had a lot of shimmer in it this will not work because the shimmer will just overpower the pigments so i love love this i also like the um zero one tweed copper palette you know i love the warmthness of it i love um, the definition that they gave into my eye i also love how much pigment there was and i also love how easy it was to apply and to blend the colors on the eye so very very happy with that now um i wasn't very happy with the uh, a brun et rose palette the tweed number four the last one this one because i just found it to be very gray now i wish there was a little bit of some warmth here more brown because after all it is said to be tweed brun et rose and brun to me is brown so at least a little bit of like you know some warmth would have worked for me um because um you know it's just too gray and although right now it looks very nice it's just adding some very delicate definition into my eye but um i need something to give my skin some lift to give my eyes some lift and also one other thing i have dark eyes so if my eyes was lighter maybe if i had like more honey colored eyes or maybe light blue gray um, or even like a very light green um, this will work but for me it won't it didn't do anything for my skin and for my eye color so anyway that's my vlog for today if you guys have any more questions about all of the products that I use today please leave them down in the comments box and let's have a conversation about it and if you're watching this and if you have any of the Le Cat Omd tweet um, eyeshadows from Chanel please let me know what's your favorite because so far what's becoming my favorite are these two love this love this so okay let me know down in the comments box okay all right so i'm gonna let you go now thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here and i hope that you're having a good day wherever you are bye